gravity bends the fabric of space-time, causing light to follow curved paths through the cosmos. This phenomenon, called gravitational lensing, transforms massive galaxies into natural telescopes, magnifying distant objects that would otherwise remain forever invisible. Through this cosmic lens, the James Webb Space Telescope has made an extraordinary discovery. Five protoglobular clusters in the Cosmic Gems Arc galaxy formed just 460 million years after the Big Bang. These ultra-dense star clusters shouldn't exist this early in cosmic history, challenging everything we thought we knew about how quickly structure formed in the early universe. Gravitational Lensing Nature's Cosmic Telescope Einstein's theory of general relativity revolutionized our understanding of gravity. Instead of viewing gravity as a force that pulls objects together, Einstein proposed something more profound. Massive objects curve the fabric of space-time itself. This curvature causes light to follow bent paths as it travels through the universe, much like how a marble rolls along the curved surface of a trampoline with a bowling ball placed in its center. Imagine standing in your backyard with this trampoline setup. The bowling ball creates a deep depression. Any marble you roll nearby inevitably curves toward it. Now scale this up to cosmic proportions. Galaxies and stars create similar depressions in space-time, bending light that passes nearby. This phenomenon, gravitational lensing, transforms massive cosmic structures into natural magnifying glasses, revealing objects too distant and faint for even our most powerful telescopes to detect. The Cosmic Gems arc perfectly exemplifies this effect. This distant galaxy formed 460 million years after the Big Bang, appearing as a hair-thin crescent stretched across space. Its visibility comes courtesy of a massive foreground galaxy cluster positioned precisely in the proper alignment between us and this ancient galaxy. This cosmic arrangement magnifies the light brightness hundreds of times, transforming barely visible smudges into detailed structures where individual star clusters become distinguishable. Without this magnification, even the James Webb Space Telescope couldn't resolve the fine details we now see. When observing objects this distant, we're detecting light that has traveled through space for over 13 billion years, carrying valuable data about these objects when they first emitted it. This offers a unique window into the epoch of reionization, the cosmic dawn when the first stars and galaxies formed. Interpreting data from gravitationally lensed objects presents considerable challenges. The lensing effect distorts images, creating multiple stretched versions of the same background object. Astronomers must develop complex models to untangle these distortions and determine the true properties of what they're seeing. Through this cosmic magnification, JWST discovered the five protoglobular clusters within the Cosmic Gems arc. Without gravitational lensing, these clusters would have remained invisible, simply too distant and too faint for direct observation. Dr. Angela Adamo, an astrophysicist specializing in star formation and lead author of the groundbreaking study, captured the significance of this discovery. It was incredible to see the JWST images of the Cosmic Gems arc and realize that we were looking at star clusters in such a young galaxy. This partnership between cutting-edge human technology and the fundamental physics of our universe has opened what Adamo describes as a unique window into the works of infant galaxies, revealing the birthplaces of globular clusters that would eventually populate galaxies like our own Milky Way. Proto-globular clusters, unexpected cosmic structures. Looking at the night sky, we see globular clusters as ancient stellar relics, dense spherical collections of hundreds of thousands or even millions of stars that have been orbiting galaxies like our Milky Way 
for billions of years. What the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered, however, are protoglobular clusters. The infant versions of these structures caught in the act of formation when the universe was just 460 million years old. While we view globular clusters as ancient stellar relics, these youthful clusters show us their vibrant birth. These protoglobular clusters represent the earliest stages of what will eventually become the mature globular clusters we see today. Modern globular clusters are spread throughout the halos of galaxies. But these protoversions remain embedded within their host galaxy, the Cosmic Gems Arc. They function as cosmic nurseries, where star formation happens with extraordinary intensity like bees swarming frantically around a hive. Thousands of stars form in highly confined spaces. The physical properties of these five newly discovered clusters are remarkable. Each measures approximately 3.24 light years in diameter, comparable to the distance between our Sun and Alpha Centauri, yet contains hundreds of thousands of stars in this relatively small volume of space. Their existence at this early cosmic epoch surprised astronomers. When these structures formed, the universe was barely 3% of its current age. Previous theoretical models suggested the early universe lacked sufficient time for matter to coalesce into such dense, organized structures this quickly after the Big Bang. As Angela Adamo, the study's lead author, expressed, It was incredible to realize that we were looking at star clusters in such a young galaxy. These clusters challenge our understanding of cosmic structure formation. Conventional models assume a gradual process in which gas clouds are slowly condensed under gravity. Their existence suggests that star formation happened much more efficiently and rapidly than previously thought. The extreme stellar density within these protoglobular clusters reveals profound insights about conditions in the early universe. Stars formed in incredibly crowded environments where stellar interactions were frequent and intense. Such proximity likely influenced the types of stars that formed and how they evolved. Comparing these protoglobular clusters to mature ones in our Milky Way connects the beginning and end points of cosmic evolution, spanning almost the entire age of the universe. Modern clusters contain primarily old, low-mass stars, while these proto-clusters likely contained many massive, bright stars that have since exploded as supernova. These discoveries are rewriting our cosmic history forcing astronomers to substantially revise timelines for early structure formation. If such dense stellar systems existed just 460 million years after the Big Bang, then galaxy formation and star birth operated much more efficiently than models predicted. As we continue to explore these ancient cosmic nurseries, one can't help but wonder what other fundamental assumptions about our universe might be waiting to be overturned. Rewriting Cosmic History – Implications for the Early Universe Until recently, astronomers believed the first billion years after the Big Bang unfolded as a slow, methodical process. The narrative went like this. First came darkness. Then the first stars gradually ignited, followed by the slow assembly of galaxies over hundreds of millions of years. The early universe was considered relatively simple, with complex structures taking considerable time to emerge. These protoglobular clusters throw that entire timeline into question. Imagine a universe shrouded in darkness, like a foggy morning before sunrise. This was the epoch of Ryanization, a transformative period beginning roughly 375 million years after the Big Bang and lasting until the universe was about a billion years old. During this cosmic dawn, the dense fog of neutral hydrogen that blocked light transmission gradually cleared as hydrogen became ionized, 
making the universe transparent for the first time since creation. This transition marked the moment when darkness gave way to light, allowing us to glimpse the distant universe. The newly discovered protoglobular clusters likely drove this cosmic fog clearing. These dense stellar cities, packed with millions of stars in extremely tight quarters, produce tremendous amounts of ultraviolet radiation that stripped electrons from neutral hydrogen atoms. Their discovery suggests reionization began earlier and progressed more quickly than our models predicted, fundamentally altering our understanding of how the universe became transparent. These early clusters contained stars dramatically different from today's, significantly more massive, tens or hundreds of times our sun, substantially hotter and brighter. Much shorter lived, just a few million years. Formed without the heavy elements present today, the formation of such dense, organized structures, just 460 million years after the Big Bang, reveals that structure formation operated much more efficiently than our models assumed. This finding complements other JWST discoveries like Galaxy Jade's GSZ-14 which existed merely 290 million years after the Big Bang and was unexpectedly bright and massive for its age. These observations force astronomers to reconsider dark matter's role in early galaxy formation. The standard model suggests galaxies form within dark matter halos, where gravity draws gas into dense regions. These early dense clusters may require scientists to recalibrate how quickly dark matter halos formed and how efficiently they converted gas into stars. Astronomers worldwide are revising computer simulations based on these revelations. The discovery compels scientists to rethink fundamental assumptions about early cosmic evolution. New models must account for the rapid assembly of dense stellar structures and their implications for ryanization and galaxy formation. The James Webb Space Telescope continues unveiling structures that challenge our cosmic understanding. The universe appears more precocious than imagined, forming dense star clusters, complex galaxies, and heavy elements far earlier than predicted. As JWST continues its mission, we stand at the threshold of a fundamental revision in our understanding of how the cosmos emerged from its primordial beginnings. In a universe full of mysteries, these proto-globular clusters are the new keys to our cosmic history. The discovery forces us to redraw our cosmic timeline completely. These ancient star clusters shouldn't exist according to previous understanding. Yet, JWST's infrared eyes captured them through the cosmic magnifying glass of gravitational lensing. As astronomers plan spectroscopic analysis with JWST to determine the physical properties of these clusters, we stand at the beginning of a new chapter in cosmic exploration. Prepare for a future where every new JWST image challenges our understanding of time itself. What other secrets does the cosmic dawn hide? If you're as fascinated by space as we are, you won't want to miss these other videos. We dive even deeper into the universe's secrets and explore recent discoveries that could revolutionize your understanding of the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. Stay curious and keep looking up.